Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to the late one on the 29th, 29th of October, <clears throat> 2019. A big announcement made today, and that big announcement is simply that uh, we are ready for a general election. Yeah, ready for a general election in the UK. It's interesting when many people ask for something and now you get it in your hands, what are you gonna do with it? You know? Let's hope that Boris Johnson can handle it. Uh, they always have this saying, and there's something in, in Jamaica whereby and this is it this is what it is imagine this dog running down the car and he yap 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 you know those little small dogs yap 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 and they run down yeah they run down the car They're trying to get the wheels They're trying to get the wheels yeah They're trying to get the wheels and they yap 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 but the big question is what happened when they get the wheels? What happened when the car stop? Sometimes you don't know what to do when the car stop. Yeah? And it is it is just like what has been happening in the UK regarding the, the, the Brexit and all those sort of things. Yeah? Um, let me just do something. So I want to welcome you anyhow to the late one. And uh, tonight, my topic is going to be on this medical ship, which is in Jamaica. Yeah, I'm just do something here. Uh, uh, please share this video as well. What is wrong with a, a ship wanting to help people who need medical care? Can someone tell me? What is it? Is it a spook? What is it? That's the topic today. What is the big deal with this medical ship in Jamaica wanting to help? But is it that sometimes when one wants to help, that doesn't mean to say that all is well. In everything there is an agenda, right? In everything there is um, something which is an ulterior motive. Could it be? Right? Is it a political thing whereby it is seeking to undermine one uh, political party or so. What is it? Yeah. Have these ships or ships been coming to Jamaica on more than one occasion? Or is it the first? Where's the information coming from with these voice notes talking about these ships are there to kill out the black race? Yes. Where is it coming from? Tons of videos, tons of videos are out there. People saying about what has been happening, getting rid of the black race. They want to get rid of the black people in Jamaica. And then you have to ask yourself the big question. Why come all the way to Jamaica when lots of people are in the States, black people are in the States? Or is it that they want our dealing with the black people in America is dealing with it by the police getting rid of them have these ships been coming to Jamaica regular or is it the first time where does the medical care or the medical um, medicines or so come from 
yeah next question again is this if persons who are professing that the ship is on an ulterior motive and an agenda to kill off black people and they're coming from the states and it's all a part of a Trump agenda well I think those who in the states who are talking about it should not be there in the first place if that's the case because your life is in danger is it that Jamaicans are very suspicious is it that they're spook based on this but guess what it's not just the Caribbean only not just Jamaica only all the Caribbean nations who have been saying this you know I love to hear what you say I love to hear your views love to hear your comments and um, and I've, I've adopted this facility tonight whereby one can actually even if they want to Jamaica. yeah one can actually even even call in I mean I've seen good 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 night good night good night guys and do me a favor please share this video as well feel free feel free to share this video share this spirit share this video with your friends your families and your foe you know everyone is a family a friend and foe brothers and sisters you know but anyway get before we get into that um, those who are in the UK and those who are following the UK, of course, I'm in the UK. Um, one of the the breaking, one of the breaking and exciting, uh, what should I say? Breaking and exciting news today. Breaking and exciting news. Exciting doesn't mean to say it is it is what people want to hear, but it, it is an exciting time because guess what? We've got a wonderful Christmas present for those of us in the UK. Yeah, Barry, a wonderful Christmas present. And a, one, and a Christmas present is this, a general election, yeah? Uh, a general election is what we have coming up, yeah? General election. And for those who want a general election, it is your Christmas gift. And what you can do, you can go to the polls and it's going to be on the 12th of December. Joe Swinson from the Lib Dem, she wants to revoke Brexit. So therefore, she's running to be the first, well, to be the first prime, well, not, well, I shouldn't say the first lady prime minister, but she wants to win the election and she will revoke Brexit completely. The next person, which is Jeremy Corbyn, we don't know what he wants, but he just wants to get into number 10. I think that's what he wants, get number 10. So the, the Lib Dem are on a single issue. Uh, the Conservative, more than likely, also, one, one would say, is on a single issue as well, deliver Brexit. And Nigel Farage with the Brexit Party are on a single issue, which is deliver Brexit. The Green Party is wanting to make a good thing, uh, keep things all green. And, of course, the SNP just want to leave the UK and to go on the, the wings of, what should I say, go on the wings of, yes, the European Union. Today also, something interesting happened. I'm just giving a little update here. So another thing which happened is that they were trying to get European citizens who are in the UK to vote, right? They wanted European citizens um, to vote. And also, they wanted 16, I believe, 16 and 17 also to vote as well. But that was rejected. Right? And Boris Johnson had said if that was successful, he would have pulled the vote because, you know, um, would be happy with that. But anyway, so the government or the Boris Johnson got what they want, which is a December 12th election, because they're hoping that based on the polls, it will bring forth and deliver a majority so they can run the government. Because, ladies and gentlemen, I, I, think, I think what has been happening, and, and if you recognize it, whether one is a Brexit or, or one is a Remain or whatever, whatever you call it, one of the key and most important thing is this. The government was not able or is not able to govern. And what was happening is that the opposition and, um, and, and other parties were actually taking control of parliament. That's what they kept saying. Taking control of parliament. 
and the government was frustrated. They can't deliver Brexit, they can't deliver this, they can't deliver that. Fortunately, the Queen's speech was um, passed. And the only, the only recent thing which happened re of recent days, right? Uh, Matthew, if you are here and if you're on, um, could you actually, um, I think, what you, could you actually send me a, a, a sorry, come in the, the video and just invite yourself. All right, let me see if I can bring you on. I'm going to see if I can bring you on. And, and see how this works. Can't bring Matthew on. And and let me see something. Let me see. See if I can do this. Add. Can't bring Matthew on. And and Matthew, if you're on, make sure your phone or whatever is his phone is on. Um, what should I say? Um, landscape. And then if you can invite yourself on, right? So we can get into the world. The meat of the day about the medical ship in Jamaica. But let me just ask people this question. Let's move away from Brexit and move away from all things with the UK. Um, I think one of the sad news that came in, especially from Jamaica, since I'm here talking about Jamaica, is this. There were two went on. It's really sad. There are two young children who passed away. And condolences to the family there in Jamaica. Um, let's say tonight is a Jamaican night, if anything. And uh, and, and that was that was really, um, really sad. I sent you an invite, Matthew. Let's see if you can come on. Um, so that that was very unfortunate and uh, sad news as as much as possible, right? And it, you know, when 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 children when when these things happen, you know, a, a life, you know, life is so precious, and it it brings us now into healthcare, medical care for people, whereby people, in a sense, want help in many things that they do in in um the care which they have now this boat this boat this ship actually sailed across to jamaica and and if i look if i look on the the site here it, it's it says that um, what, what they say about the ship um i'm going to read read a couple of things about the ship here they call it a spook ship, you know. People are saying it, it is spook. It, it is, it is come to um, get rid of Jamaicans. I love to hear your views. I love to hear what 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 your thoughts on it, you know, about it. He said dozens of persons turn up at Sabina Park to seek medical and attention from the crew of the U.S. Navy um, hospital. Uh, U.S. Naval Hospital ship USNS, yeah, USNS. Turnout was not as expected as this could be as a result of a voice note that has been circulating warning Jamaicans to stay away from the medical ship whose aim is to kill off black people. All right, so so that is so that is what that is what's um, been going on, right? So this ship came to Jamaica. In order to help but what is happening is that they're saying it is there to kill off black people right let me just see something here now what's your what's what are your thoughts on that uh, uh matthew I don't, I don't know what happened i can't seem to i can't seem to find you can't seem to get you on but anyway let's try to see if you can get on yeah well, listen, the turnout was not as expected as this could be as a result of a voice note that has been in circulation warning Jamaica to stay away from medical ship whose aim they claim was to kill off black people. No voice message over could prevent Marlene Malcolm from checking her dental health as she stated that she was relieved to have a tooth fill. In addition, she stated that the medical team had also attended. All right. Uh, the laptop won't work. Um, um, it's going to be, uh, let me just try to say something there. One to them, two to do two. Uh, work, but try, but do try, do try. Yep, do try that. Yeah. First, I got lots of vitamins and medication, and I'm back to again yesterday to get my teeth clean, she said. 
Now, I listen to the voice note. I listen to the voice note, and I listen to three voice notes, actually. I don't think it's wise to share them because I've always got this thing about people sharing these videos or sharing voice notes. People just share them. You don't know who they are. You don't know what's their name, what's their number, whatever, and they are not responsible. And, and there's no level of accountability when people send out these voice notes. And then people just share them and share them. I never share these things. And anytime I get these voice notes from persons, I always send it back to the person who send me that message and say, can you ask the person who send it to you to ask the person who send it, what is their name, what is their number, what's their contact, and can it be verified? Always try to get some verification for these things <clears throat> because I believe it is very irresponsible, it is very immature, and it can create chaos because right now, um, you've got genuine people who may want to get some medical and health care but they have been spooked. And then you have to ask yourself this question. It, are, 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 do we actually read? I'm not going to make a general statement, but do we actually read and analyze certain things? Because I know many people have been coming to me and, and, and one person said, um, the, the, uh, a, a doctor, a medical doctor, have some concerns about this and they're going to write something and they're going to put it in the paper next week. And I said, guess what? That's a bit late. Because if they want to put something in the paper next week, the vote is going on November the 1st, which is a couple of days from now. So you're going to wait until people are dead off. You know, If you're going to say something, you've got to say it now. And I've been asking for as much as possible evidence, not a video. Everybody can do a video. Everybody's sending videos of different persons. Of things. Now, don't get me wrong. There's not, there, there, there could be issues. And there have been things in the past, studies which have been done in the past, whereby untoward things may have happened in um, experiments in Africa, South Africa, um, third world countries, right? There have been these, these sort of things. Now, I can't substantiate it because I do not have any evidence. And, and uh, as a lawyer, one of, one of the things I always say is that we have got to as much as possible, um, this is what we've got to do. He asserts must prove, right? So, well, ladies and gentlemen, I have... Mr. Matthew St. Matthew, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John Golden. <laughs> yeah, man, Good man. afternoon. How are you, sir? Everything cool, yeah. still, you know? Good program. Good reason. Yeah, you... Hopefully, we get something out. You know, hope the people them get something more out of it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> because I just, everybody, I give them them views and so on still. So. Yeah. I'm getting ready, but I'll just share from all So, I was Jamaica now. Everybody, nice sunshine, rain or fall or anything, breeze or blow. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of rain right now, which is yeah. needed. You know what I'm saying? Because whenever rain, um, so probably, hey, sometime rain or fall for about a good year, year is and a half. You know? Wow, wow. Yeah, man. A lot of people don't know that. You know what I'm saying? Like, it. sometimes there's... It, Drought, you know, with them as them tell people turn off them pipe and certain little things still, yeah. which that is another piece of reasoning because in the dry time, I think they would have built up a proper yeah. dam, you know, for the people of the Kingston City West. It's not every place um have rain all the yes. time. And it's when <laughs> when 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 we're not on our water, people say, Boy, they, they, they should have this and that. And when rain are falling, it's like them just forget about it. But right now, still right, everything right. cool. <laughs> Well, you know? well, well, listen, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why I invited Matthew on uh, today because on the same topic when I was sort of searching and getting some different information about the ship which is in Jamaica, the medical ship, I saw his post and, and I said, um, let me invite him on. I also sent an invitation as well to somebody else who was against the ship, um, the boat, but they didn't want to come on. So I said, um, so Matthew wanted to come on. And Matthew, listen, share, share what's, what's your thoughts on this? medical ship which is in Jamaica which these voice notes are saying to people do not go on it because it's trying to kill off black people my question is to them is the thing mm. what would be the what would be the purpose of killing off the people that's making you money mm. so many different aspects and angles you can take it yes. from it. if Black people are supposed to be a slave <laughs> and working for you. You're not going to kill off the work of them because you're not going to do the work or you're going to yeah. make any money. Yeah. 
Another angle of it is this. Why would you leave from the country, United States, you know? Why they would leave from United States where the black people them where I give them trouble? Why not kill them from there? Why, why go all the way in the Caribbean? Mm. Keep in mind, it's not only Jamaica they're going. They're going to El Salvador, Brazil, Dominica, Dominican Republic. Mm. It's a Madrid and Haiti. So this, this is a Caribbean thing. This is for the third world countries. Yes. Why are they going to other places with other black people alone? They are Brazil. Yes. You understand? So there's so much different things to it. And why not? The questions were asked now based off this one person who said the voice note. You know, one voice note you know, yeah. turned into all of this, which is no problem because yeah, you know, people are allowed for question things. You know. mm. It never come from somebody who is sick. It never come from somebody who actually live in a Jamaica. It come from somebody who live in America. Yes. We say them come for kill off black people because Amer and the reason is because they don't give away free medication or health care. So my argument yeah, is it's interesting. You know, it's interesting yeah. what you said there because that's one of the the fundamental reason I keep hearing all the while. Why would they come to give it away when they are not giving it away free in America? That means to say nothing free, no good. It, that's, that I keep using, I keep seeing that re rationale being used a lot. Yeah. You see, what people have to keep in mind, you know, the Caribbean, CARICOM, mm -hmm. them have them, them have all the bilateral connections that they have. Yeah. So them humanitarianism, it goes right across the board. It's almost like they they giving back to Bahamas. Yeah. Person gonna ask the question: Why is why is America giving away anything to Bahamas when they're going through natural disaster? Because it's not everything bad with America. That's why people go live there. And my question to that person would be: Why, why, what do you do? Why, why are doing America same way? If America is that evil, and they're killing off black people, and you know this, what are you doing over there? Leave, leave, and go back home and and, and avoid them people. If you know, say they're doing this to people. So your arg the argument is because it is free, that means to say it's a killer of black people. So if black people was paying for it, they wouldn't, they wouldn't die. Yes. It, it, it makes you have to accept to yourself like, yo, this is not making any sense. And why is it that is no people come out when they come in here from 2011? Every four years, pretty yes. much, they've been here. 2011, 2015, and no. Yes, yes. And they can't make mention that it's a political thing, like a GLP, PNP thing, because then we was doing this from PNP was in power. Yes, yes. This is not the first time. Them doing it from in PNP in power. So <sighs> because nobody is enough. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, because I, I later mix up and blend yeah. up with sense. Because I laid the contact. And sensationalizing racialism, racialism sells right now. You know, and, and 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 just look at all of the folks who are talking about it. And I said, no. They're not those folks who are sick, you know. Them said I'm going to do a Surgery, 150 persons gonna get um surgery who can't afford. So that means they say they're gonna use some chosen, they're gonna choose who they're gonna, they're gonna kill the black people, they're gonna kill off them because these people have to be screened. Yeah. So it's not you can't just go there and say, Hey, I want to get a free breast implant surgery business. No, you have to be screened by the hospital or test of a nurse say you're actually in need, your eyeball a drop out, face this figure. Some problem, and they have to screen it, screen you before them actually give that assistance because they're trying to the surgery. They're going to do you know 150 surgery, you know, brother. So, they have to make sure, say, all right, let's take the worst cases and see what we could do for them. Because there's a lady, um, who contacted me who saw my, my note on FFBJ, and she's she called me and said her aunt used to be some pharmacist, and even, even people who came on the boat or the ship actually came off and trained them and did some did some sort of training with them and that there's a man who's next door to her who's actually going because they're trying to surgery they're going to do you know 150 surgery yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah. Sure. yeah they yeah, yeah. They, there's a man who's actually at present she said uh, and it was yesterday was on the boat getting some help for some um some sickness he has or some medical thing sickness and this lady here her name is Molly Malcolm. She's checking her dental health and she said, if so, I'm going to dead. Well, may I forgot dead 99 times <laughs> because um, 
her neighbor was trying to change her mind because she heard the voice note and people have changed their mind because of the voice note as well. So, wow. so the concern now is that you have genuine people who want help and they have been spooked and the people who have spooked them out are persons who are not setting up a GoFundMe or giving them money to help them to go to KPH for, for medical care. And that's why I consider this, uh, lovely. And that's why I consider this very immature and irresponsible. And the worst thing about it, Matthew, what I always say about these voicemails, because it's easy for me to pick up my phone and do a voicemail and say, Boy, I'm a Jamaican and I'm a killer of black people down there and I go down. And then somebody just starts to share it. And there's no there's no sort of um, name number or accountability or transparency of the persons who are sending out these voice notes. It's embarrassing in a way still. And you know what? It, it, it's, it's cool to not run in for everything where I give you know, you know, you hear about things and you know Jamaica will say, well we're not running and that's 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 a good thing. Don't just jump on things certain ways. But one of the things you have to do is is, is the research. Yes. No, if if them they would have to start they would have to start kill off the people in from 2011 when they came mm -hmm. here, and they would have to start, that means you'd have people are dead from 2011 till now. Yes. Keeping in mind, you know, the population don't drop, you know, the population actually grew from them time. Then. Yes. So whatever medicine them bring them actually it actually have more it a popular <laughs> it a populate the country even more. Yes. Yeah. You follow me? I say so. There would be cases, just like you had Ebola, you'd have Chick V. They don't need, remember, you know, America is, we're talking about the, the, the superpower, you know, one of the superpowers of the world. You think they need to send a ship to come and kill off black people? Mm. And most of, and everyone who are talking about this thing, and none of them is sick. None of them is in need of medical help. Surgery. Them not need, no, them not in a medical, and Bear in mind, they didn't, they're, not, they're not here to do, to inject anybody or give them no pill. Yes. They, they name out what they're here for, the agenda, what they're there for, and for those. They send out videos and pictures. When you are, when you are trying to take people for big use them as guinea pig, nobody sees that. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Anybody that might use it as guinea pig, them, they tend to use, history I've shown, is prisoners them use under them things. Yes, yes, yes. So tell me, so, so yeah. where do you think this, um, is there some sort of thinking? I mean, Kanye West was in Jamaica recently and it was, there was a similarity of the sort of vitriol against him whereby people were saying, um, is the devil, is the incarnate, is the Illuminati, um, don't go there because I know God and all those sort of things. And I, put this, I see this as a similar thing whereby, is it a fear of the unknown or people are just superstitious? Or people are just suspicious, or as people are full of conspiracy theory, or or, or just ducky story. <laughs> Yo, well, you know what? Um, it's it's all of the above. Yeah. Superstitious, fear. I don't think it's just one thing. Yeah. Why people may think the way they think. A lot of it is is just entertaining. Yeah. You see, anything that is good. In them time, yeah, it's considered bad. Just looking at it. Yes. Kanye West, this, Kanye West say, man, come down to Jamaica. He never say, come in here to tell the people them say, we're war with each other. Yes. They never come and say, I'm going to do music. We're going to tell you them to kill off each other. Call the girls them, um, you know, hoes and whatever terminology. Yeah. Man, say, man, come down here and say, I'm going to go Sunday service. Keep in mind, you know, it's a choir that's going to sing, not him. Yes. Him. him just come and do the one song and him testimony. Yes. But for the most part of the program, he, he's not the one him and the it. Yes. And people are against that. The man say, I come and him spend our money. And people say, no, he must come for make money. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, so you would leave a country that actually buys products to a country that don't buy product and say, I could come for make money. Yes by spending money. Because even when he had the shirt, them say him about the shirt, them on the, um, the site, or the vendor that had up the shirts, not him, but the vendor that had up the shirts. As the government asked them, they did not even flinch. They said, okay, no problem. If it's a, if having a coat of arms is on, against your, no problem. Quickly, boom. That's another black man. You have to respect him and say, yo, 
You might do the thing right and up full, man. As them uh, as they ask the vendor, not Kanye West, we could get it clear. They asked the vendor to take it down. They took it down, no problem. Yeah. Now, how do you spend 1 million US within two, three days? They decide, say, yo, within this time period, that's what we're going to spend. How do they plan to make that back if it was about money? It's a scam. Mm. Mm. People right now, you know what? People right now are against God more than ever. Yeah. Nobody know why I hear about no God, no, why I hear about no goodness, no man know why I hear about that. Mm. That is a state of where Jamaica's mentality is right now. We're more of a, a have become more American minded, if you want to say, or you know, foreign minded yes. then. Where the God, God business doesn't really make no sense anymore still. Yes. yes. No future really depend on that. Because a lot of the the moral decay over the years, you know what I'm saying? So once you hear a man come down here and I do anything we have to do it that kind of way, like that like God or no, we don't want that. Mm -hmm. But make him come down here and say something else. Let him decide that he's coming down here to talk about something else. Nobody, people wouldn't have a problem. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen to the mute, listen to the music that's being push, pushed out right now. We're not, we're not straight too far enough. You know? But may I try to show you how people now lick out against certain things when necessary. Now the ship is coming down here to from 2011. I'm going to keep on repeat that. 2011. Nobody now have nothing to say. Until now. Nobody now research and say, let's go check out those people from 2011. They must be dead already or they must sick out or they must pass on some type of infection if this is the whole. This is what they've been doing. Yes. You know, we're not people not thinking anymore. I love what you said when that um where you said when people send you videos and say you to pass it on, you don't really just jump on yeah. that. That's not wise enough. That's not wise. You have to do a research yeah. first. Find out first. You say a powerful thing, and a lot of people don't research anymore. Nobody yo, when last you see a man just panarek, him does have a research. When some people ask some questions, may I say but we don't have to go to the library anymore, like jump like back in the days. I don't know when you when like when how long you left of your kind of. Yeah. But I don't know if a library when we meet, when we live at Kingston, you know, the one library we know was was Tambrin come library. Yeah, Tambrin. Yeah. But um, yeah. If you're not getting, if you're not not in, let me tell you, the one library we know about at Tambrin come. <laughs> now we have these things at our fingertips, yeah. and people still not utilize them. People are work off of what sound what sound good. Why they are true, you know? Because the voice not so like sound so believable, I guess, depending on who you are. Yeah. Why? They might come and kill off black people and black people say, Yeah, true. Don't go over there. Don't go get the help where yes, you need. Yes. And there, 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 there are also some subsequent voice notes which I, I heard, which is a piggyback of that. And there's also a guy, I think, in some other country. I don't know, one of the Caribbean country was talking about it some time ago. And and also somebody was sending me all these rafts of videos, which you can listen, if you go on Google right now, if you go on YouTube right now, you just type anything, you'll see tons of videos in that subject matter. And I, and and the, the question which I've been asking, and I've been putting it out today, I said, can someone point to me the evidence alluding to this particular ship this particular boat i'm not saying things have not been on towards in the past that things have been dodgy or certain experiments and, and yet i do not have the evidence right but nobody can point to this particular boat this particular ship and i was saying i was going to try to get a hold of um um the, the minister minister um tufton but then i didn't need to do that because i saw him endorsing it he was there with the, with the people on the boat you know, and I said, well, there the government is in it. And, and you know, they couldn't have come. They couldn't have come on the shores of Jamaica and, and soliciting or helping the people of Jamaica without getting some sort of, uh, what should I say, uh, approval from the government. And then again, Matthew, the other thing we need to think about is this. And I think you, you mentioned it. The same medis Medicare or medic medicine which they are using in Jamaica is coming from the same source. Because Jamaica don't have medicine, do we? Unless yeah. it's a bush medicine, it's a bushman medicine or something like that, you know what I mean? Are you? <laughs> it's just, 
it's, yo, listen, the person who, who send the voice note is not in a concentration camp them there and send the voice uh -huh. note, you know. I could understand if they're in a concentration camp where them say, all right, right now they're seeing people being injected and they happen to have a phone and I'm sending out this message. I'm in a concentration camp and them hold me and them are going to use. Your, you, this person is free yeah. to leave America where they are kill off the black people them. Keep in mind, they're, they're, they're black people actually working yeah. on the ship. And they're actually Jamaicans that work on the ship as well because people make it seem as if I just be a white people they're on the yeah. ship and that's not yeah. the case. If they even look at some of the videos and some of the pictures that is there, it's a beer old people where you, a, a person could have said, well, them don't go dead already. That night, that it wouldn't make sense to kill off old people. Yeah. It would more make sense for them to kill young people yeah. and young men. Yes. Because if you want to plummet a village... You, you don't you don't trouble the old man them, you trouble the young youth them. Once you can get them out of the way and let the ladies them alone there, they can't defend can't defend the community. Physical <coughs> yeah. book, I don't know. Big up man. That is the way they would go. But that's not the case. These are the, these people are being screened and them come there and it's older mm. people, 70 year old, 60 odd year old. Man, we really can't afford it. And that's it's it's really sad when 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 me here. All of this happening, and I don't hear from one person who's actually, who's actually sick, who's saying don't go yeah. there, because it's somebody else who, who, who don't need. Because it. Minister Tufton said that Jamaicans should have no fear in visiting the medical ship, while stating that the negative message being circulated is not only erroneous but also unfortunate. Right? One person named Mr. Lawrence Smelly said. He had heard about the ship from a nurse at Kingston Public Hospital. I was a bit scared because of all the things that have been said in the voice note, but after much thought, I decided to go and just get this over with. I'm happy that my eye will be scraped because there's something like a skin growing over. Old man, you know, old person, you know, old people, them. I have enough stuff for two days, so I'm ready to just get this over with. Elderly people, elderly people who need help. And we have persons who are very irresponsible that is my position and and you know that's that's my view with this whole thing and it's very um concerning and discouraging you know matthew yeah, yeah you know that we live in a time where it's about divide and conquer yes. right now yeah we divide and conquer race racism this this race thing is is really a major part of why a lot of people have you know, enough uproar are going right now. You know what I'm saying? Because when they say something like this now, it's just like, okay, a black against white type of yes. thing. And many people are suffering because of it. You know what I'm saying? Because the truth is, none of us as races, we can't do it without each other. We are yes. one people. Whether we like it or not, we are, we are one people. A lot of, you know, and, and the thing about it is, speak strongly against a particular group, but in the same breath, they're getting paid by this particular group. And that to me don't even make any sense. Your boss is white. Yet you hate white man and white man this and that. You're in a white country. Mm. How you how, how do you live knowing this? So when them put out them are come kill of black people, this become another racial racial sense of like, you know, type of vibe they're pushing out there and people who want to believe yes. it. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things that they might see on TV, you know what I'm saying? Um, police brutality and all of them stuff there. And people run with it, not realizing that, yo, you suffer your own self, you know, because of foolishness, yeah. you know. You must check the source and where it is coming yeah. from. Where this person come from who sent it? Oh, they live in America. Are, what, are they black? They're black. Are they free? Yeah. yeah. So, all them not dead yet. Mm. Mm. Well, listen, Listen, um, Matthew, let's look at a couple of some of the the, the, the reasoning some people have, and, I, and I'm going to read out a couple of them. But ladies and gentlemen, I want to invite, thank you for coming on tonight. Um, the topic is about the medical ship, which is in Jamaica, whereby persons have been saying not to go there, not to actually visit, not to take the medicine, because um, as I said, they want to kill off black people. That is what the message is out there. That's what the voice note says. That's what a couple of persons have been saying. Um, <laughs> And I'm just, we want to talk about this with Matthew, because I heard Matthew's voice the other day, and I said, let me just grab him on. I was trying to get somebody to come on to talk about it, but they said, people like them 
will get um, yeah, because they have all these information that they will arrest them. <laughs> I mean, so I'm not getting the people who are I'm not getting the people who are actually proponents of it. They know why. Them know why. Them know why. It don't make no sense. And them know why I look foolish. Yeah. Because you're going to ask them the questions. Where are the evidence of anybody who has, who has gotten injection from 2011, 2015, who dead just, who just get up and dead? Show us. The, just tell us. The, where's that proof? Yeah. And they're going to be like, okay, I don't, I don't, I don't have any. Yes, yes. Someone said here, go ship for experiments, melanated people, as well as to spread time-release diseases. Run them out of the, uh, the arbor. What I said, um, the tribe refused to listen to the man amongst them. The rest is history. Go to New York and try and find 10. Um, um, there, there is, somebody said, I hate when ignorant people say these things. I, one person said, uh, they don't give their or they don't give their own people medical assistance. What makes you think they're going to help my people back home? You see, a lot of the negative thing which has been talking about this ship is coming from people overseas. Listen to what this person said. They don't give their own people medical assistance. What makes you think they're going to help my people back home? Right? Level of ignorance among my compatriots is staggering. <clears throat> no one is required. You know what I'm not cut you know. You know what I'm not saying that Jamaica say that man they bad mind. You know? Yeah. Because through them not getting it free, nobody else not forget it free. I, I and that's one of the reasons why I put it on is it is it suspicious? Is it people bad mind, jealousy? You know? And and Oh, so you're not getting it free, so nobody else yeah. can't get it free. You ever heard of a thing called humanitarianism? Or do we think that oh, foreign countries don't have anything them 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 now have no humanitarianism in them? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Some someone someone people want us to think that America listen, you see, people want everybody but things that England mm. and America are just only white people over there and everybody over there is it's it's an evil yeah. place. It's a it's a concept that it's an evil place and white people over there are killing off black people and you guys are slaves over there. Yes. I you can tell me, you know, if you ask, are you a slave or, or, or is it over there? Slave over here. And, and, and in fact, in fact, I say, I say, I say to people all the while, and you know, they call me all different names or whatever like that because of my <laughs> political affiliation. I say to them, England has been good to me. Um, my, my family who, I, who took me over here, they have been good to me. So I don't have any bad experience with as a family, you know, family bad and thing like that. Um, I, I've gone through the process here in this country. I've, I've been involved in politics, you know, run for office, still planning to run to become an MP. Anything is possible. I always say this to people all the while. The sky is not the limit. The sky is the start. It's a mindset, Matthew. It's a mindset. It's really the mindset because, you know, a lady I, I heard of, well, I saw the video. The video was circulating. And when I get a chance, I'm going to share the video. Uh, uh, I think it's a Jamaican British lady, British Jamaican background or whatever, migrated to Gambia or somewhere. And she started to talk about the UK to say the UK is a dump. London is a dump. You know, and she was just saying, it's a dump, it's a dump. You need to be here in Africa. And, and she saw some nice houses, you know, no disrespect, you know. She just showed some nice houses and said, this is where it's place to be. And I saw that and I said, you know, you know you're throwing words behind you, you know. You know, you're burning bridges just because you have some experience which is maybe bad. You can't paint England as a dump, paint London as a dump. You know what I'm trying to say? So when, when, the more I look at this whole thing, I started to think to myself, are we uplifting each other? Is this something that uplifts a nation, uplift a people, or is it something that tear down a people? That's a big question. Does it uplift the people? Does it edify? Does it exhort? Does it comfort? Does it strengthen the nation? Or is it creating division, dissension, bad mind, suspicion, suspicion? So everything it is generating is a negative vibes. It's a negative vibes, brethren. And that's a question we have got to ask ourselves. That's why this lady here said, I really do not want to comment on this, but I feel I have to. 
why is this so strange to Jamaicans now? Is this political mischief making or what? There have been many ships in Jamaica before offering free medical services. There have been numerous medical teams yes. from the U.S. on other parts. You were saying it a while ago, who have offered medical services in Jamaica. My church did a two-week trip in Spanish yeah. town. My friend who is now a nurse was on a mission trip early this year, and this was not her first time. There's a group also called Doctors Without Borders who perform medical trip to other countries. People, it's time to take up a uh, book and read and do not be led by people with their own selfish agendas. Here we go. Um, I was just, you, do you know, you ever heard about the Logos ship? No, no, I'm not thinking I should know that ship. Or the Logos Hope, that's what, that, that, that's what it's yes. called. Okay, the Logos, it, it's been to Jamaica quite a number of times. And it land out um, near the airport, out of the yes. harbor. We're near cement factory to be exact, because I've been on it before. I go there and meet my, my profound partnership yes. already. And I want to tell you this. They basically said the same thing back then. The, no voice notes was around like that. Yeah. But that ship has been to Jamaica a number of times. With the, um, the, it's a non-profit charitable organization group. And they actually have books where the man them come sell and everything. You know? And people say, boy, them, them book they, they come to do like, what? Those books that they bring come to turn black people against yeah. themselves. Mm. Books yes. in a brethren that they have where kids should be a part of, many schools should be a part of. And it was really, it, it, it really sad when we hear our own people are taught them way as if we, 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 we live under a rock. Yes. I work some key people and we're not aware of what's going on. You know, and to think a lot of hypocrisy are going on. Mm. Enough hypocrisy are going on. You know what I'm saying? How people think about overseas. And I, and I say overseas because Jamaica, two places where Jamaica, three places where Jamaica are known for travel, Canada, England, and the United States. Yes. So when we say foreign, we're talking about the three places. <laughs> More so England and, and the United States. Yeah. You see me? Yeah. yeah. And this notion that for America is just a bunch of white people, England the same. Mm. That's how they say appear mean people come from England. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you ever hear that before. Well, yeah. Appear mean people come from England. Yes, hey, could be true. I don't know. But may I tell you all of the things that you know, the, the, the suspicion and the superstition and the everything buckled up in a while. Go 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 yes, me teacher, me teacher. Because before I left Jamaica coming to England in 92, man started calling me mean already. And said, my man. <laughs> <laughs> two things. They say you mean two things from England. Two people that, perception from England. You're mad and you mean, you know? Um, you know. But but I think what people don't fail to understand about the UK now is that uh when people decide to go to, to Jamaica from the UK, because of the long journey, you know what I mean? You have to plan, you know, you can't just get up. I mean, I I, I when last I've been to Jamaica, three years, the longest I've been to Jamaica now, you know, but it's not like when I was single i could just get up and go you know what i mean you know families now children you can't just get up as before and um and it's very important for parents to be um especially when you got young children to be around them so that 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 sort of getting up is not so easy as before and 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 so people have to recognize that um people are going to be prudent now people are going to be prudent and be responsible with their resources with their funds and everything based on our society is uh, Matthew. And, and and a good friend of mine, I'm gonna be on her show tomorrow night, um, Tracy. Tracy was talking today about a lot of the the suspicions, a lot of the the prop the 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 old time saying, the old time saying, the spooking, the the suspicion, the voodoo, the obi and all those sort of things is you know if if something set, she was giving me some example. Like I'm I don't know if she's on if Tracy's on it can attack them. But what you was talking about is if something set a certain way, something will happen. If you go so <laughs> yeah. all these little spook things, right? Mm -hmm. And 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 I and I think it, it is it it is something that has to do with that. That's why I was asking the question, are we suspicious? Are we superstitious superstitious people? Um don't trust and, and it comes back again you know, to the whole trusting thing. Because there is a perception and you may say you may answer it whether the perception is it true that 
we as a people, sometimes we are not very good at building each other, strengthening each other. You and I, we spoke today, is finding that common ground with the person and to build on it because it's easy to find the negative part and to tear down. So therefore, look at it this way. If you can find the negative part to beat the tear down, why don't look for the positive part to build up? The second thing again, in, this, in Africa, there's a state or there's some tribe that if somebody does something bad, they put that person in the middle of the street or something like that, and all the young men or the men then came around the person. You know what they do? They don't beat him down. They start to speak words of the, the good things that he has done in the past. You're a good guy. You're good. You're you know, saying all the positive things. So I, I, I think that with what is even happening in the world now, when you see our parliament in the UK, the vitriol, the fight, you have to look at it this way and say, and, and maybe I'm being very, I'm um, like a pipe dream. Maybe I'm um, too positive or have this phobia against negative things. But why not try to find that positive element and build on it? Why not look at the ship coming to Jamaica now to help the people and say, well, this ship is there to help the people. Now, if they're in a concern, let us make the government check it out. Miss, Minister Tufton, can you check this out here? Because I hear that some people say some things. Can you check it out, my, my government? Can we bring some other doctors yes. to make sure that what is being used is approved? Yes. What, you, you think you don't hear a voice note like that, I'll go wrong? No. <laughs> just think about you, how you just start it and articulate yes. it. You know? In a time like this, you believe you're going to hear a voice note like that, I'll go viral. That sounds too... That sound too that makes too much yes. sense. That makes too much sense to go around. The people who want for, for, for use entertaining things are so, what a you? If it not said yes. that. Maybe we have to say it in a different way. Yes. Jamaican we are something. Yes. No, no. Um, um, Tracy's on. She just, Tracy's on. She just said, if you put a person on the floor, you'll be broke. <laughs> If a knife blade is... May I try to ask her which floor she had to no, 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 this is what you're saying. Some of the old times saying, if you put your purse on the floor, you'll be broke. If a knife blade is facing okay. up, someone is moving out of the house. If someone sweep your foot, you're not get married. <laughs> you're not going to yeah. married. Well, I know. Remember, if you wear, put an umbrella over your head in yeah. a house, you're not going you're not yeah. going married. If somebody walk up, step over yeah. you, you're done grow. Don't grow. Oh, yeah. Don't grow. That's a yeah. shot. Yeah. Well, we speak, we speak. We, we, all of them think them. All right, hold yeah. on. Well, but let me give you one. I think even yeah. know this. You know about the two of them. If if um if you big two shorter than the other one, where, um the other two, you know, say so as a man, your woman are gonna roll. All you. right, all right. Enough man, enough man. I start with one and two. Yeah, right so now. you can if we check the two right and know we're done. <laughs> Yo. I see my wife, when I told them longer than the big one, I'm say, yo, the oil love like it, yo, it's getting too long in a baby. Try bend that to under for me in a car, you know, I rule me, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yo, I tell you, so much of them things are weird still, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, you know, I throw it out, but I, I want to tell you, some of them make sense. You know, there's certain proverbs that, you know I mean, um, that we grew up on that we could be like, well, not them that we just mentioned, but there's some things we have to look into and be like, okay. Test it, yes. you know, test all things. Yes, yes. So it's it. You know what I'm saying? There's one that I, that I never let go, which is true. You know what I'm saying? What is medicine for you is, what is poison for you is medicine yes, for me. Yes. I guess it's simple. And, and we can come right back to the ship right now. What is poison for you is medicine for me. So you know why I go because you're not sick. Me need it. So me, I go and me get my yes. thing sorted. out. So it's poison for you is medicine yes. for me. So so therefore, I never let so, go. So therefore, it is that particular thing. If I'm not good for say, just shut up. You know, I'm good for sex. You know, you know, you know, I put on forward. What, what, what is it that you're putting forward that that could help the situation? That's the key thing. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? If most of these people even do care that much to see how well they can help the development of the nation, then why not the, in that same group suggest, hey guys, we don't trust this group. Let's see if we could start something and get some guys on the, on the ground that could check out these guys and ask the government and see how we could get more involved and put our money where and, and, and help all our people. Nobody, yes, yes. No, no, it, it, it is, it is, it is, it is, 
it is very interesting, and and that is and and when I when I put it out there, I, I put this sort of trying to get different views and just listen to what everybody's saying. Um, but as a lawyer, you know, one of the things, one of the maxims in law is they say he who asserts must prove. You know, he who asserts must prove. If you say that this ship is a ghost ship or a dopey ship or or it's a comfy killer, you have a you have a responsibility to prove it. Right, you need to find a duppy. You need to find that needle. You need you can't you can't send me a thousand videos of what people have been saying on YouTube just because it's on YouTube. That doesn't mean to say it's authentic. You know what I mean? So many fake news. Donald Trump has taught us about alternative facts and fake news and all those sort of things. You know what I'm saying? You know, and and that that is not even coming from Donald Trump because even Mark Zuckerberg recently, when AOC was questioned, him, she said to him, "If somebody." put something out there falls, are you going to take it down? And this is what Zuckerberg said. It's important for people to recognize what the politicians are saying. We need to say, to recognize that they are lying. <laughs> so therefore, it is proving the point that people put things out there to throw people off. Said. In politics, they leak news and they leak sometimes the wrong thing because they know journalists are hungry. So if you notice sometimes, um, a particular news line is the same one which is running through all the different stations. All the different stations. Because it is as a deflective thing uh, as much as possible. You know? So, so I, I, at this time now, I, I believe that, um, and I think the message that we are actually trying to get across now is that people need to be um, prudent and to, uh, what should I say, um, you know, don't be so quick to just listen to things on voice note. <laughs> you know, I want to tell you this, you know, there, there, there are some things where people don't really like to talk about. And even um, there's a versus going on with folks who are in Uda, Jamaica and those who they are far. I don't know if you ever noticed that kind of back and forth mm -hmm. here. Um, people at Jamaica love make people are foreign and for people are foreign I always say people at Jamaica don't know how hard them are work. there's always this back and forth thing that goes on right? people just, people don't not talk about it you know, much you know yeah. but when I really sit down and I listen to it I think about it's almost like yeah. Jamaicans them they must say yo those who are left at home them full full and them don't really know certain yes. things well me the woman me there far and I can tell you seven or four four. Yes, yes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And it's um and nobody really sits and, and nobody realizes, yo boss, we, we we all on the same boat here. Yes. You know, yes. we all on the same boat here, but there seem like there's like a, a difference, there's an indifference going on. And nobody don't really like to go in for that one, but it's a reality. Yeah. And uh, you understand? Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. And that's one of the reasons why <clears throat> when I was speaking to someone a couple of days ago, I had to say to them, um, you can't say to people have full fool for the going on the boat. It's very condescending. You can't say the not a sense just because you have a perception and you got a view. We, we have got to find get people where they're at. And as I said, and the worst thing about it, Matthew, is that those who are actually saying people not to go are not reaching out to the same people to help them with their financial costs for their help. That is the that is the fortune. That's the unfortunate. No, no, and, and it comes it, it almost like church, yes. you know. You're telling her, don't wear this, but you're not offering her anything, but you know, offer nothing else to put on, you're not put nothing in yes. place. No, it, it happens in, in, in many different sects or groups. You know, even when me make music still, I want to tell you this. I know of uh, artists always say, well, they might talk about what they're seeing at the, in the inner city and what they're seeing at the streets. Mm -hmm. Boy, it get, boy, it get bus off and gunshot and, you know what I'm saying? They just uh, talk about it. That's the excuse that they use yes. to make a gun shown. Mm -hmm. You see me, I do you then, my perspective on it is different. I'm like, no, nah, bro, why don't you talk about what you say, but why not give a solution within the same music that you've given? Yes, yes. You see, you, you would lie down, pan ground, gunshot, take him down, da 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 da. Give now the solution. Yes. And that's the difference. You know what I'm saying? So some people say, don't go over there. 
you, you have an idea where we should go? Don't do that. Don't put on a shoes head. Do you have something I could replace that yes. with? Don't go on the ship to do the surgery. Brother, my arm, my, my arm, I drop off. I have some kidney problems. I need the surgery for, for 75,000 US dollars. Mm. Give me an option. You know what I'm saying? I'm already, I'm already dying then because of this kidney failure that I'm yes. having. Now that, that's how you're gonna help yeah. the situation. So that, that's, you know, that, I want to really think about it. Make me, me, me feel away still, but I, but at the same time, I, I understand people gonna be a little bit skeptic because that's how we are as a yes. people, and, and and it's necessary that we actually think that way as well. Yeah. But I guess it's sometimes how we go about this. You know, be if somebody coming in, yo, what am I coming for? And who him? I want to find, let's, let's do a little background check and stuff, but don't just jump off of the bullet. I'd say, no. You understand? Yeah. And see where all of them things are coming from and all that. You know what I'm saying? So I really appreciate you having such a program and, um, you know, put this out on the platform yeah. because you realize a lot of people actually saying what you're saying mm. or saying what we all are saying right now. Like, yo, it's very sad. You know what I'm saying? And it's really, um, it's, it's refreshing to me I hear other people who have sense, where right? Recognize that, brother, yo, cool off for them look a suspicious thing. Eh? You yeah. know what I'm saying? Turn it, you know, 10 years from now, if you don't put that, if you don't, if, you, if there's no voice like yourself right now, I advise not, I get the voice, you know, brother. That's the thing. And, 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 and that where, where everybody I go run with that say, yo, and, and when they come back again for help, you know, go take the help. Yes. Because, you know, we take the help, the help was in front of you. But because you listen, we allow some other people for run with it. I say, I chew, I chew. And the people that are saying it, they're so strong. Yeah. The people who are saying it are those who are so strong. And you know, and you know what, Matthew? I want to hear. And Matthew, the, 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 the worst yeah. part of it is that you have no idea who's the voice, who is the person behind these voice notes because they're just anonymous. That's the thing. They just sit down there. They you ask somebody to come on and they decide that they don't want to yeah. talk. You ask the person, hey, man, come and share your view. Because we're, we're open group. Nobody not tell you anything, you know, no, no profanity or nothing for, for your views. Let's, let's hear your voice because there are other people like yourself who don't really trust in this shit business or whatever it is. And that's cool. But let's let's hear what you yeah. have. Come tell me the information so we can we can know how to avoid and bring them little, them little evidence eh, while we're going to share what we're sharing. But let's, let's, let's hear what you're saying. They decide that they don't, they yeah. don't really want well, that. You know, so that alone tells me a lot. That tells me a lot. I will live a, enough myth will live off. I know. Enough myth, yeah. you know. For years, a man say, no, I walk, go to a mass jar shop, you know. Because the, the dopey dung, they say, I run down people, the people are drop down in a gully. Only for no said, only reason why the people them that drop down the gully are because one banana leaf been over the road for so long. And the shadow alone make people run up and, and drop all about the place, you know. A man say, well, I, I must, I must road up yeah. it. And when the banana tree cut down, them realize how and shadow them around from the whole time. Then, then, yeah, you might you get your big and jokes there. You know, then, enough place me never go because I be here about up and down the road there. I only for five out say I want piece of tree hang off. I I I I have a joke from a preacher man. He said that <laughs> he went to visit. He yeah. went to he went to preach somewhere, and he was in the guest room, and he he saw something on the, something moving. <laughs> I'm laughing. And he, he yeah. started to pray against it and speak in tongues. And he said, keep moving, keep moving. So it was a ghost, some demon. It turned out to be a cult. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you think I do a serious thing, you know? What we, yeah, hey, hold on up. You know, say, we ain't going to fire and come like them up here and a fly from plane, you know? Them not traveling, you know, because me never hear about them up here when me left, what, what go up, you know? Never yet can buck up on one of them dope here with the man in my top the whole time. You know, when me leave, go a foreign and them thing. I'm going to say, life funny. When last year, you ever hear Americans really talk about dope story, mm -hmm. brother? You know, your man at talk about that thing, but where you come my yard, man, at some place? Because enough times they didn't have light. Yeah. They never have light. Them, them time in a certain place. My, like my, my family originally, my mother come from Trelawney. Yeah. And them places they have light or running water. Yeah. It's, are you there? I think we froze a while ago. Let me see if we did. Did we freeze? We froze. We freeze. We froze. 
Um, okay. Okay, I got froze with, um, yes. Let me see if I can get him back here. Yeah. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I, I froze briefly with uh, Matthew. Um, let me see if I can get him back. He's, he's frozen, actually. He's not even coming off the screen. Yeah. But, yeah, Matthew, Matthew frozen. But I, I want to I play something. Uh, and it, when Matthew comes back, you can actually hear something of what I work which he has done in the past. Uh, here he's back, coming back. Okay. He's coming back. Okay, we missed. Uh, let me just play something here for a second. This is. Tell me if you know this song, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, That is Matthew. <laughs> Matthew, I, before you go, before you go, because that was like a wake up call. I was trying to get into this thing. Okay, we, we have sort of, we, we sort of close off and we sort of have an understanding and the word is out there. And it's just to get people to really share the video and people to think about some of the words we're talking. But tell us about you because I just played that tune a while ago with Candle West, but I heard your voice on it. What's going on? <laughs> All right. Well, no, no, Kanye West did Jesus Walks, that song many years ago. And in the midst of when he became a Jamaica, when he was back to come to Jamaica, I was like, that's a good thing. You know what I mean? And many people have mentioned of his past. And I said, well, all of us have a past. Some of our past, we don't even want to make mention of. Yes. Me, myself, can say, boy, you have a past. But which is more important, my past or my present? You see, me and you, Dan, I always love that tune. Even when, when he's talking about it, you know what I'm saying? God walk with everybody. And it may sound crazy to some people, but I'll be not you're a bad man where we pray to God, see him where you say, Father God, I thank you for I allow me to get where I put a piece of work there. Yes. He walk with everyone. But anyhow, I always love, love the rhythm and everything. I do music, you know what I'm saying? I know me and St. Matthew, aka the Street Disciple. Some more people right now say Street Disciple and things. So, here in the track, you see if, if they listen to the intro of it. Yes. Because people are wondering if he's really if he's really real about this thing. And I say, well, put it this way. Even the Bible tells us, you know, there are those who, who do it for all kind of, they do it for anything, they do it for money, they do it for whatever. I'm trying to freeze this. <laughs> one second, one second. Yes. Yeah. 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 You can tell say you never supposed you know you know it's I like how you stay in a year early and you know you know you was never supposed to be a selector or a DJ. <laughs> I used to be a rapper. I used to rap and break dance. I can do a rap for you. I can come, oh, I can come on to your as a cameo one time on your track. Yeah. Trust me. How are you Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, anyhow, I'm just um, jump out with the Jesus Walks. Can you have his course and um, the, my version? And I want to listen to them. Let me say my, my, my blaspheme. I mean, I, my, I'm part of the Illuminati. <laughs> All because of that. Well, you know, so, you know, when they saw the picture, of both of us have on the crown, I mean the thorn on their heads, and he said, Well, that's blasphemy because you try to think you call yourself Jesus. I mean, I said, Well, so you believe that when they were shooting a movie, Passion of the Christ, or any other movie growing up, why never think that them did a blaspheme when time they were just reenacting that or giving that depiction with the thorn on their head? Yes. I mean, like ask question, you know. Yes. We make a man of a, a looking at it and I say, yo, but okay, I get what you're saying. Because it's just a depiction. Yeah. So the picture, they kind of throw them off. You know what I mean? But anyhow, do the song. And um, people them really appreciate it and things still. So, And that's how I guess me and get to somewhat cross path. You know what I mean? Because 
you know. So anyway, well, well, don't know. well I, I've, I've shared it for persons to um to listen to it and 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 your 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 channel your channel is um on YouTube is Street Disciple Thirty. Yeah, from them typing Saint Matthew Reggae, Saint Matthew one Reggae. of them they will find me. Street Disciple. That song, yeah, on them typing that, but it's Street Disciple Thirty for the. The, the YouTube um the subscribe kind of thing, you know what I'm saying? But the name, because you don't know the, how much work going already at, you know, the music and things yes, still. Yeah. But and and other so, so I just know you get the, so so the so that is your drive, um, getting the message out. Uh the the concept behind Street Disciple 30. What is that? Street Disciple 30. Street Disciple 30? Yeah. The 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 concept. No, that that's just the that's just a, the, the, the subscription name. You know? Okay, okay. That's just a YouTube channel name. You know what I'm saying? If somebody was the family, but the name Street Disciple, I just, you know, originally it was St. Matthew. See? Yes. Or usually live before me, the name Suicide. Yeah. See? Musically, Bad Man Tune. The name it. Yeah. And I realize, you know, words are powerful, man. You know what I'm saying? And even my name and everything. And I decide, say, yo, you know, say, I have to walk a different journey, you know what I'm saying? Many things happen along the way. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Just to put in a nutshell. Music, I attend um, St. George's College. Okay. You know what I mean? As high school coming up. And um, I did get expelled from high school in about the 10th grade, which is the fourth form, for burning down the classrooms. Yes. And many brethren were known me from them time there. Enough surprise I'm still alive to this day. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Either things so I was supposed to be dead or in a prison and things still because of the direction of that go them time there. You know what I'm saying? Went to another high school and they must not for come back, isn't it? Mm. Along the way, I just cross part with music and along the way, you know, musically, I start. How about Miss Raddy Youth, man? Straight up. And they love them things. They love gun, love road. Yes. You know what I'm saying? The whole dance of life and I really they believe it, you know? When you talk about enough women and them with us, all that's in Jamaica. Gallis, yes, me and you, and you come around being around the, the road boy life. Yes, yes, me and you. So even when you never grew up in the inner city directly, cause my, my, my never grew up in the inner city like that. You know what I'm saying? And it was always a struggle um, for people to understand the journey. Say, watch your brother. You have some youth where the man them look normal and they look cool, yes. and they may, they may do the most ruthless things, and them not, them not have to come from. No bad people area. Anyhow, it's like um I start look it's like I started feeling a little bit empty of myself, you know. I'm realize my power because you have you bridging and bridging where I step like what me I step. Yeah. And when me I said them I said so when people say that music do have that kind of power, me can tell them as a man with that make bad people music. Yeah. Is it me I that I can tell you what music did to us or it make we think. Is it me I deal with? You look for what you wrong, brother. Me ask you where they and that. Yes. And them thing they have, a, they play a part. They, they, they have, so, they, it does something to the mind and society. And I'm um, along the way still. You know, my mother is a praying lady and them, them thing. They go to church and them way there. You know what I'm saying? She went off to live in America. You know what I'm saying? And we just decide to answer the call. Yes. You know? And I say, Father God, you know, so I'm going to try with you. You know what I'm saying? And that's how. But I have to move from the name Suicide. Suicide. In Interesting, yeah. I'm a name Matthew. My name is Matthew Golden. You see me, but you know, Jamaica, I don't know. It's a Matthew. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, Matthew Golden. And just say, yo, you know, say, a man said to me, say, yo, yo God send you, you know, you. <laughs> because me, had a, me hear bleach out them time. Yes. Bleach out white. Tattoo up on body, them weird. So, me was that person. <laughs> and me, I come up them time, the car tell them about it. Mm. So we about to reach to a level and we decide say, yo, just like the, the move where Kanye Kanye met, me to make it in a, my own journey yes. then. Me to just reach a point to me and say, yo, a good brother. And I turn the other way and I try. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna tell you say it's been a perfect journey along the way. Not, not, that part of me not pulled up on the life part of it. I tell you say, me always use the word try. You yes. know? Yeah. And I say, boy, you know, this is a journey I take musically. And Said my to them, you know me as time and say, yo, S E N T, Saint, you know? Yeah. So you don't know, you know, people, it's not really Saint. Yeah. But yo, yeah, Saint Matthew, you know, brother, that's it. I'm going to start, start some feeding, feeding business for some others and 
you have other artists who do it. If you type in food drive, St. Matthew food drive, you see who yes. we really is and who we really love though. So, anyhow, reach to that point, that's street side. Okay, that, that's all. Awesome. No, I'm worried to that with the conversation. Yeah. But you just know me. Well, listen, I, I, think, I think that's that's a good sort of closing off thing there because um, uh, just like with Kanye West, I think with John Travolta and a few other persons that God is doing some stuff with some very key people these last days, you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, confronting them and transforming their lives. You know, Somebody said to me today that Kanye West is so open that God is using him powerfully. That's why I put something out today. I don't know if you saw it, where I said that they said Trump is not fit for president, but he's the president. They said Boris Johnson, the prime minister of the UK, is not fit to be the prime minister, but he's a prime minister. And they said Kanye West, who is he to be a Christian? He's not qualified. Yet at the same time, he's doing more than many Christians who profess to be Christians. So the word, so the word right, that I then. put out there today was that who are you, what you are, you know, you should know that. Don't let anybody dictate that, you know. Um, it's a bit more clear with the, with the post which I did, you know. Listen, Matthew, I want to... Well, anytime you get the opportunity to remind somebody, that, just remind, when you, anytime you get the opportunity, yes. and you say, yo, who for life, them man never change certain ways. You can use me as an example, because it really did re-encourage my journey along yes. the way to say, yo, go and do your thing, I want to. Yeah. So, we just start push out more. Yes. Because you know what I mean? As a youth, we are chat about gun and girl. Yes. It may, may that be part of bringing down society just for my own personal benefit. Yes. We, you know what I'm saying? Because that's what I go on right now. Many many people are killed on the society based off them own, their own, their own personal gains, you know? Yes. Because it not hurt them. I know if you know, sometimes I want to ask a question to some man, you know, mm -hmm. after them get gunshot, you know. I said, brother, then you the DJ said, well, I forget gunshots. So, oh, you get gunshot now, what's the problem? Yes, yes, yes. You know what? We you feel I'm here, you. Yeah. You know what? We, we will have to do another one, uh, another topic along this line, because um, this is the start of something, uh, uh, Matthew, you know? And, um, and it's, it's, it's good that I reach out to you without having any second thoughts, because I saw the video. I just, it's just like Daniel in Jamaica, the guy that does cockpit country. I just saw him cussing off the prime minister and everything, and I just called him and said, "Listen, I I I listened beyond the expletives and the other things, and I got something deeper. What was coming out of him, and from that we have, we have become mates, you know. When he come on my show, he don't swear, you know what I mean? Because I, I got a good conversation. So I always try to find something in a person beyond just the noise. Sometimes you hear the noise, you know." And I think that is very powerful. That is, that is why when I, when I mentioned about trying to find that common ground, try to find that plus factor and build on it. Because when you build on that plus factor, the negative things sometimes move away. But if you build on the negative, that's all you'll see. <laughs> you know? So, so peace out. Thank you so much for that. And... Um, and we, we keep the link. We're on WhatsApp and everything. I post a video out there so people can actually follow you as well. And um, and I'll be listening to some Ken West Street this time. I just hope that my, by me just playing that, YouTube don't, and Facebook don't say that I'm copywriting you. <laughs> can you know? No, man. You're good. I want to can play. I'm going to play it. Man. Okay, because you see me? every minute, man, they just want to lock you and put you in the freezer. <laughs> yeah, I want to, I want to play with man. So you're good. So enough respect, brother. And Give thanks uh, for the opportunity. Thank you very much. And we have a chat again, man. May, may connected here, sir. Peace out. May connected. Okay, Matthew. Respect. Thank you, sir. Bless. Okay, bye. Yeah. okay ladies and gentlemen. Um, one and a half, one and a half hour. I, I just felt it was very important to just continue that conversation with Matthew. Great guy. Met him uh, yesterday. Joel just saw his video and just reached out to him and invited him to come on and to talk about this whole issue regarding um the, the 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 ship in jamaica i just really set out my perspective really i'm not going to play around bush and trying to you know sometimes what is in your heart you got to say it you know you got to say what is in your heart you can't you can't follow different things if god has put something in your heart and you want to speak it then you've got to just speak that and and let people hear and let people decide because as much you said a while ago the voice note is what lots of people are hearing 
but they're not hearing the other side they're not hearing the other reasoning so therefore we have got to also put our voices out there as much as possible so you know what so so what i want to say thank you so much very much and just let me finish off with daniel with max with matthew matthew and remember to like and subscribe to this video um i put the, i put the the video as well the youtube channel of matthew um like and subscribe and get your voting cards ready for those in the uk for election on the 12th of december let us start parliament afresh and see what we can do okay and um have a good um, rest of the the night which is uh, uh tuesday night uk time and um and, uh, well 23 25 i think is um uh, and uh you know so have a good night and be blessed and remember to share this video as well and do let me hear your thoughts do let me hear your thoughts about this ship let me hear your thoughts if you got a negative stream to it nothing negative stream if you got a view and you believe that it's not in line or not in, in agreement with what i'm saying let me hear what you say let me hear what what your thoughts are it's very important you know i just gave my views and and matty gave his view but what is your view as well you know it doesn't matter okay peace out thank you on instagram and thank you on facebook and uh peace out and uh god bless you and keep cool bye, -bye.